the quantities in linear motion are analogous to the quantities in angular motion or rotational motion. Rotational motion means the quantities are angular displacement theta, angular velocity omega, angular acceleration alpha, moment of inertia i, torque tau, linear motion displacement s, yes, velocity v, angular acceleration a, moment of instead of moment of inertia, inertia is analogous to mass, torque or moment of force is analogous to force, linear force. Similarly, linear momentum in translation motion is, is analogous to angular momentum in rotational motion. Rotational motion. Or in short, rotational motion, the quantities in rotational motion are analogous to the quantities in linear motion. Similarly, angular momentum is analogous to um, linear momentum. So let us discuss now. Angular momentum. When the, so let us suppose that a rigid body is rotating about some axis. Every particle is performing circular motion. Every particle is performing circular motion. The position of particles say R bar. When the particle is in circular motion, its linear velocity is always tangential V, which is perpendicular to this one. And momentum is always in the direction of velocity or P bar. P bar. When the body is in rotational motion, every particle of body performs circular motion. Pratyek particle circular motion is also. A circular motion is also in the position of the body. It is in R bar. It is in linear velocity of the circular motion. It is in tangential. It is in tangential. It is not perfect. तुम्हारा रफ ड्रॉ के मोटा टेन्जेंशियल हे दो मेले एंगल परपेंडिकुलर रहते नाइंटी डिग्री मैं हे दो ही वेक्टर है ही वेक्टर है अपने एंगुलर मुमेंटम सुधा वेक्टर ये तो यल बार विच इज वेक्टर सो इट इज अ वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू क्वांटिटीज आर बार पी बार और आर बार क्रॉस पी बार है कि यल बार इज इक्वल टू पी बार क्रॉस आर बार बरबर है कि नहीं पानी अपन राइट हैंड रूल अप्लाय करते इन मैग्निट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन द एल बार इज गिवन बाय आर बार क्रॉस पी बार एंगुलर मोमेंटम इन मैग्निट्यूड डायरेक्शन which is given L bar is equal to R bar cross P bar. Or, or in magnitude it can be expressed as L is equal to R P sin theta. Because according to vector product A bar cross B bar equal to A B sin theta. But in this case the angle between R and P bar is 90 degree sin int is 1, therefore L is equal to Rp. So magnitude of angular momentum in particularly in rotational motion is L is equal to Rp. L is equal to Rp. So let us derive this expression. This is what the definition of angular momentum L is equal to Rp. So let us derive the expression for angular momentum in terms of different quantities. 
what is the different quantity let us see so next article is expression for angular momentum or expression for moment of linear momentum moment of linear momentum angular momentum ka definition tachi magnitude kiti ali l is equal to rp so let us determine expression for expression for angular momentum for a diagram let us consider a rigid body is rotating about an axis passing through point o perpendicular to the plane of the body perpendicular to the plane of the body with constant angular velocity omega let capital m be the mass of the body capital m be the... good morning students palkana namaskar so since from eight days we were discussing about rotational dynamics we are at the end of the article of the chapter rotational dynamics rotational dynamics the shevard's article hai conservation of law of angular momentum or conservation of angular momentum conservation conservation of angular momentum as we have studied in 11th standard linear momentum conserves a law of conservation of linear momentum how do we state the law of conservation of linear momentum अपन कशा पद्धति लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीनियर मोमेंटम स्टेट के टू कोलाइडिंग सिस्टीम ऑफ कोलाइडिंग बॉडीज सिस्टीम ऑफ कोलाइडिंग बॉडीज मुविंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन से after after some time both the bodies collide both the bodies collide after collision bodies move with final velocity say v1 v2 v2 initial velocity is u1 u2 during collision if there is no external forces acting on the colliding bodies let us suppose we have two bodies moving in the same direction let us say spherical in shape with initial velocity is u1 bar and u2 bar after some time let us say u2 bar is greater than u1 bar then both the bodies collide during collision each body exerts force on other body and because of that there will be exchange of velocities and let us say both the bodies in the same direction with velocities v1 bar and v2 bar then what does the law of conservation of linear momentum states law of conservation of linear momentum states initial total momentum m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is always is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 that is if there is no external force acting on the colliding bodies then the 
linear momentum is conserved, momentum remains constant. A total linear momentum is equal to total linear momentum after collision. Once again, I repeat, total momentum before collision is always equal to total momentum after collision. This was the statement of the conservation of linear momentum. Now let us today discuss conservation of angular momentum. As angular momentum is analogous quantity to the linear momentum, so it is all, it should be also conserved. Angular momentum and linear momentum should analogous are. Thus, our linear momentum conserves are. That's for the turn angular momentum should be conserved well. A constant as a level. A constant is a derived correct effort. Let us derive it. Let us prove the conservation of angular momentum. So let us discuss mathematical derivation of conservation of angular momentum. Expression for angular momentum in vector notation is given by L bar is equal to R bar cross P bar where R bar is the position vector drawn from the axis of rotation and P bar what is the vector momentum vector of the particle at the point Let us differentiate it. Differentiating dl bar by dt, we get differentiation of r cross p with respect to dt, or which is equal to r cross differentiation of p with respect to t plus differentiation of <coughs> R with respect to D cross P or now D L bar by D T but but differentiation of D versus P versus T sorry differentiation of linear value with respect to time verbally Verbally, it can be stated as rate of change of linear momentum with respect to time. According to Newton's second law of motion, rate of change of momentum is force. Rate of change of momentum is force. Rate of change of momentum is force. Now, and dr by dt. Verbally, change, rate of change of position vector with respect to time. Rate of change of position with respect to time is what? Velocity, V bar. Also, force is equal to mass into velocity. Mass into velocity. So, above equation, we get dl bar by dt equal to r bar cross f bar y f bar y bar d bar differential p with respect to time dr by dt is v bar cross cross and uh, what here P bar. So mass into acceleration, sorry. P bar is equal to mass into velocity. Not F bar. Force is equal to mass into acceleration. Linear moment P is equal to mass into velocity. Therefore, we get M into MV bar. 
प्लस और डी एल बार बाय डी टी इज इक्वल टू आर बार क्रॉस एफ बार प्लस एज एम मास इज ए स्केलर क्वांटिटी वी कैन टेक इट आउटसाइड इन ब्रैकेट वी बार क्रॉस वी बार वी नो दैट वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर टू इट सेल्फ वी बार क्रॉस वी बार इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी बार क्रॉस वी बार इज इक्वल टू जीरो और डी डिफिनेशन ऑफ एल बार क्रॉस जी टी इज इक्वल टू आर बार क्रॉस एफ बार प्लस जीरो और डी एल बार बाय डी टी इक्वल टू आर बार क्रॉस एफ What is R bar cross F bar? R bar cross F bar is nothing but moment of force. Moment of force. Moment of force. To produce the rotational motion in the body, we require moment of force or torque or coupling. Now, according to statement. If no external torque is applied on the rotating body, as in linear momentum, if no external force is acting on the body, on the colliding bodies, here in this case, if no external moment of force or torque acting on the body, means what? R bar cross F bar must be equal to zero. Moment of force must be equal to zero. If no external torque or moment of force acting on the rotating body, that means R cross F is equal to zero. That differentiation of dr by dt is equal to zero. What does it states? What does it represents? What does it represents? Once I will repeat. Angular momentum in magnitude and direction is given by L bar equal to R bar cos F bar. Differentiating on both the side with respect to time, we get R bar dP bar by dt plus dR bar dt plus P bar as R bar dP bar by dt is equal to M bar, dR bar dt is equal to V bar. Angular linear momentum P bar is equal to M V bar. Substituting in this equation, we get R cross F U V bar into M V bar, or D L by D T is equal to R cross F plus M. Take outside M. V bar plus V bar, but V bar plus V bar is equal to zero. Hence, we arrive at this equation. D L bar by D T is equal to R cross F, which is nothing but moment of force. As per the statement, moment of force. If no external moment of force is acting on the body, R bar plus F bar is equal to zero. Therefore, D L bar by D T is equal to zero. Or, in other words, <coughs> differentiation of derivative of constant quantity is equal to zero. Derivative of constant quantity is equal to zero. That means L angular momentum must be constant. Always derivative of constant quantity is zero, which represents that L must be constant. Or L bar L is equal to in magnitude I omega. So by this way, we prove the Conservation of angular momentum. Angular momentum always remains constant. Always remains constant. Also, we have many cases, examples of conservation of angular momentum. Some shows, such as acrobats in circus. 
बैलेट डांसर बैलेट डांसर दीज आर दोज शोज सच एज बैलेट डांसर एक्रोबैट्स इन सर्कस इन स्पोर्ट्स आई स्केटिंग डाइविंग इन स्विमिंग पूल इन ऑल दीज केसेस द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज अप्लाइड is applied as we know that l is constant l is equal to i omega is constant or which can we can written as i equal to omega is 2 pi n or l is equal to 2 pi i into n 2 pi i into n if moment of inertia increases if i is increased increased n decreases in decreases if n increases if n increases i i moment of inertia decreases in I, in any case in either case the product l always remains constant product l is equal to 2 by n omega is always remains constant angular frequency n if i increases angular frequency n decreases if n increases i decreases okay let us discuss some examples of as just now we have stated law of conservation of angular momentum is used in some shows dancing shows acrobats as in sports let us discuss one by one first one is ballet dancer ballet dancers we know that a ballet dancer dance in dancing in on ice or ballet dancing in on ice ice ballet we can say what is the person performs dancer goes round and round on ice sometimes he come closer at the center and sometimes he has to move out on the ice that means sometimes his, his radius increases sometimes his radius decreases he has to decrease the radius he goes round and round and performs circular motion so sometimes he has to increase the radius sometimes he has to decrease the radius and when he comes closer when all the players or dancers comes closer there may be two or more than two there may be single or solo dance will be there solo dance ekta bhi karu shakto doga kiwa don peksha jast jo anek dancers ekatra etil on number of dancers comes together what happens radius decreases due to decreasing radius it's our it will say due to decreasing radius moment of inertia decreases i i decreases the angular frequency n increases jol aaya mulo tya tya lokanchi moment of inertia ka hoto decrease hoto ka decrease hoto mass into distance square distance kami jala mun moment of inertia decrease hoto एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेन्सी वाढ़ती 
आणि त्याच्यामुळे काय होतं की ह्यांनी जवळ आल्यामुळं फ्रिक्वेन्सी वाढल्यामुळं थ्रील म्हणजे त्याच्यामध्ये खूप काही चांगलं दिसत म्हणून जवळ आलं की त्यांनी गोल 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 जास्त गोल फिरायचं करतात असं एकाच ठिकाणी गोल फिरत असं वाटायचं होतं तर छान वाटतं आणि जसजसं त्याने लांब जातील वॅन दे मूव्ह अवे द रेडियस इन्क्रीजेस मुमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया आय इन्क्रीजेस अँड फ्रिक्वेन्सी डिक्रीजेस by this way law of conservation of used in this application in ballet dancers second application is second application is diving in a swimming pool diving in a swimming pool क्लाइमिंग इन ए स्विमिंग पूल सो ड्युरिंग डायविंग कॉम्पिटिशन ड्युरिंग डायविंग कॉम्पिटिशन प्लेअर स्पोर्ट्समॅन गोज ऑन द टॉप ऑन द बोर्ड इज स्टँड एट द एंड ऑफ द बोर्ड इज स्टँड बिफोर जम्पिंग फ्रॉम द बोर्ड he outstretch his hands and legs he outstretch his hands and legs so that the moment of inertia i increases and while he coming down he brings his hands and legs close to the body close to the body and because of that moment of inertia decreases and as frequency increases due to increase in frequency he can perform circular rounds 2 to 3 rounds before diving into the water again he stretches the his hands and legs moment of inertia increases and dives into the water the number of points given to the sportsman depends upon how many rounds he performs and on by, by which angle he dives into the water if the number of rotation is large his points will be more and angle of deviation angle by which he dives into the water so because of that while diving while jumping from the board he outstretch his hands and legs moment of inertia increases while coming down from the board he brings his hands and legs close to the body because of that moment of inertia increase the decreases and hence angular frequency increases because that he can perform you know, circular motions or he can rotate number of times while diving again he outstretch his hands and legs frequency decreases the moment of inertia increases and he can perform a better way so these are two examples of law of conservation of angular momentum or conservation of angular momentum the next article is rolling rolling motion maharashtra government has reduced the class syllabus due to covid 19 the rolling motion has been deleted so by this we will conclude the chapter we will solve the problem tomorrow okay bye have a nice day